In this video, I am going to talk about API Gateway. What is the API Gateway? What are the advantage of using API Gateway and the functionality offered by API Gateway? If you are new to Byte programming and you don't want to miss any updates, remember to subscribe. So first understand what is API. In a very simple terms, an API stands for Application Programming Interface. So it is an interface or protocol for communication between client and server or between two services or instances of your service. So it could be an internal API or external API. Internal API are internally communicated within an organization boundary but not exposed as a public to external users. In case of external API, it is exposed as a public API and accessible to external users. Maybe the users could be any third party who can build their own application on top of this external API. So by doing this, so we can monetize this external API. So for example, Google Maps. In case of Google Maps, if any third party is developing their own application on top of it, for example, let's say Ola, Uber, Ola and Uber then have to give uh, some amount of uh, money to the Google on terms of the number of clicks made by a user. So your external API could be monetized also. API Gateway is concerned only with the external APIs. So let's say for example, we have a microservice architecture where we can offer search, corporate customer functionality, residential customer functionality and a few plans in offer functionality. So if any external request is coming from the client, we need the URL of this service instances. Now, the URL of this service instance consists of the IP address and the host and port where this service instance could be hosted. It could be a virtual machine or it could be a server. So in the client code, you are hard coding the URL of which service instance you need to call. So it results in a complex client code because you have some common concerns also like authentication, locking, rendering of static services, monitoring you need to do with this service instance. So all this code, if you put in the client code itself, it would result in a very complex client code that would be hard to refactor in the future or remove the functionality. So the first disadvantage of direct communication between the client and the services is determining of service instance location. This is because if in the future you are refactoring your service or removing your service, there could be possibility of change of the IP address and obviously host and port where this service is going to host. So again, we need to inform the client that the URL of the service has been changed. So every time you refactor or remove, you need to re-inform the client that they have to refactor their code also could be the possibility that corporate customer or search functionality can directly be exposed as a public API instead of going through the UI service. And maybe these services do not use a common communication protocol that the client is using. Maybe client is using HTTP and these services are communicating on FTP protocol. So requirement of different communication protocol again would be an issue if you are directly communicating between client and your services. Also, it leads to strong coupling between the client and service. Because if you need to change, you again have to refactor your client code. There is no uh, decoupling between the client communication uh, and the service. So in case of any external request, you can't directly give access to it. You need authorization authentications. So there is no single point of authentication and authorization 
for the external request to the, your API, you can need to do authentication and authorization at each of these service instances. So all these problems like locking authentication that you are doing at each of these service instances could be removed by use of a single point of entry. So this single point of entry is called API Gateway where rather than accessing each service through a hard-coded URL, you are putting a layer in front of your service instances and any external request is first go through this uh, layer which you call API Gateway. So in a very few simple terms, it is a single point of entry for rerouting of your request. So if any external client hits the request, it will first to go through API Gateway and then any of the services you are need to render. So this API Gateway structure could be a standalone which could handle a web app client, mobile client or public access or it could be a partition of your public client, mobile client and web client. For example, uh, Netflix API access is done through the same way where they have a different gateway for a different clients. So instead of a common external request uh, for public client, it is routed to public gateway for mobile client, it is routed to mobile gateway and for external request uh, for public access, it is routed to web app. And from there, you can hit any of the services that you want. Now, related to some common concerns like logging, authentication, rendering of static content, monitoring, rate limiting, all this could be moved from a particular service instance to your API gateway. So, authentication you can do at API gateway level itself with any identity provider like LDAP and you can use also JWT token or auth2. You can move logging also at API gateway level. Another concerns which could be cross cutting like uh, rendering of your static content, rate limiting, monitoring, SSL authentications, other things also. So if you see now, instead of having do all these cross country concerns at each of the services instances, we are abstracting them and place at one layer. Now let's have a look at the functionality offered by API Gateway. The core functionality of API Gateway is routing of request. So your API Gateway can act as a reverse proxy server and reroute request depending on the path of your external request. For example, Spring Cloud provides you a Zool API Gateway which could be act as a reverse proxy. Apart from this core functionality, nowadays uh, API Gateway also offers authentication and authorization of the API calls which could be done through any identity provider like LDAP or use of tokens like auth 2 and JWT token. Monitoring of your API Gateway is also could be done at the first layer of requests only. Rate limiting could be done, but the term rate limiting means uh, I am governing my API gateway that it could serve uh, only particular number of requests per minute, for example, 100 requests per minute. So if it exceeds that limit, there could be a result of failure or some message to the end users. Caching is again a common concern which could be done at API gateway level. So those requests who are frequently accessed, their response should be cached and rendered at API gateway level itself. Load balancing. Again, this is a common concern. So instead of having at internal to organization, you can do load balancing at API gateway level itself. So when a user hits the request or a client hits the request, it's the responsibility of the API gateway to look at the instances of the service available and return a service to process the request depending upon the algorithm used for the load balancing. Analytics. Again, this is an important point. 
you can do analytics at API gateway level for all your uh, service APIs. So all this functional capability either you can develop on your own and you could have a custom API gateway. The advantage of using custom API gateway is you are not depending on any third party provider. So in future if they need to update or change the policy you do not have to worry about that. The concern is that you need to set up a complete dedicated team for this API gateway. So if you are removing any of the functionality or changing the functionality in the future this team would be responsible for that. Apart from custom API gateway, they are major players in the market who provide you API management functionality and API gateway like APG uh, owned by Google, Kong which is an open source API gateway, Nginx, uh, Microsoft Azure is uh, based on this uh, Nginx, AWS API gateway provided by Amazon and API Man. Now choosing of this external providers depend upon various factors which we will look in the next videos. So this was all about API Gateway, what API Gateway is, the advantage offered by API Gateway and the functionality offered by API Gateway in addition to the core functionality of routing of the requests.